Johannes Brahms wrote all kinds of instrumental music. In the times he lived in, the 19th century, was before the technology of recording music and the piano had gained an important role as a kind of music maker in the homes of the bourgeoisie. And this is the spirit that Brahms wrote these types of compositions in, this set of 16 waltzes, opus 39, and also all of his 21 Hungarian dances. He wrote them for forehand piano originally, to be played and enjoyed by two people in the homes, but then also published them at the same time as piano solo versions. And in the case of the waltzes, he even made one advanced and one simpler version. And these sets were great successes for Brahms and helped make him a name in Europe. Then he could focus his creative energy on writing more serious compositions like symphonies, etc. as well. Still, these pieces might be simple, but they're not bad. This waltz number 15 has survived as one of Brahms' most famous melodies and it captures perfectly the spirit of the Viennese waltz in such an elegant fashion. So I'm going to highlight a few things that makes this music to what it is. And the first is the rhythm. It's in three as a waltz, of course, and it's all the time going to the first beat uh, with a strong beat and a long note. And then upbeat. And this gives it this dancing, swinging quality. And then the harmony, it's very much staying within the tonality of A flat major. It's the tonic for two bars. And then it's D flat major with A flat in the bass. It's a four chord, very much home chord. Tonic. And then F minor is a six chord, a little bit of minor nuance, but still very close and it's a flat on the third beat and in the end of the phrase it goes to c minor it's again the th uh, third chord in a flat so now the first phrase is repeated and then we get into the middle section where we go slightly further harmonically but not very far and then we go back to the first section and these two sections are repeated with a variation at the end. So now from C minor, we go E flat seven, go immediately back to A flat major. And A flat seven is pointing to D flat. So we're basically now, we have three cadences going to the one and to the four and to the five with a, a dominant in between. the theme it's the same until so in the end of the phrase we end on the tonic as well and the first time we go to C minor so this is more finalized now the second time and then straight to the mid section again I'm gonna play it because it's only six bars When you have music like this, it's repeated, uh, you can try to vary the expression as an interpretation. So maybe I do more the, the second time, like more crescendo and more ritardando. And then the final return, now we get it higher up and with these lovely ornaments of chords. the sparkling chandeliers in the Viennese ballrooms. And it ends as gracefully as it begins. 
This video was a special request by my Patreon sponsor M. Valente. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see all of you in the next one.